Today we are doing what we love to do, waste our money on some trash, specifically eBay trash. But can we take that trash and turn it into a gem of a budget gaming PC? Welcome to the Broken Gaming PC Build Challenge Episode 1, but first a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by KTC and their H32S17 monitor. KTC has been one of the main manufacturers for brands such as NEC, Samsung, ViewSonic, and more, providing top-notch quality and exceptional calibration. Featuring a 32-inch wide quad high-definition 1440p curved HVA fast panel, this monitor brings your content to life with incredible detail and precision. Whether you're a gamer or a creative professional, the KTC H32S17 delivers an unmatched visual experience. With the 1 millisecond response time and 165 hertz refresh rate, you can experience buttery smooth gameplay that provides you that competitive edge in esports titles. Say goodbye to motion blur and lag and take your gaming sessions to the next level. The KTC H32 S17 also has amazingly accurate and vibrant colors with 120% sRGB color gamma area coverage. Paired with the 178 degree horizontal and vertical viewing angles, you're able to bring your games and movies to life and see every subtle shade and nuance with extreme clarity. And if 32 inches is too large of a monitor for you, the alternative 27 inch H27 S17 might be right up your alley. To learn more about both of these amazing monitors, Check out the links in the description down below. Now, let's get back to the video. All right, guys, so the rules are very simple. Jackson and I are going to be working together for this challenge to buy a broken gaming PC on eBay. Right now, before we make any of these basketball shots, we have $300 we can spend on the PC itself and the repairs it needs. But Jackson and I are going to take five shots in this crazy wind we're dealing with right now. And for every shot we make, we're going to get an additional $20 towards that budget. So, all right, first up, we got a wind here, guys, so don't judge us too hard. Oh. Okay, great start, great start. All oh, right. there's 20 All right. bucks. Let's 20 go. Bucks, baby. 20 buckaroos. Oh, oh $40. 40 bucks. No. Oh. Ah. Still $40. My money, my problems. Oh. Dang it. Oh, that's off. No, it's 60. not. 60. No, it's not. Oh, my God. All right, we got two more chances here. Yeah, can we get 100 bucks? Oh. No. Ah, oh. oh, I was cheated. So we got $360 total to find a PC that's not working and repair it. Will this work out on eBay sorting by for parts or not working? I just had a raindrop hit my eye. We're about to go find out. Let's get to shopping. All right, so uh, we didn't do too hot with basketball. Let's be honest here. But we have $360 to spend on a broken PC. As you can see, we're into the four parts or not working section on eBay. And we really need to find something. For my past hunting, which as you can see, I have done hunting before for these videos. You can buy in computers, but it's not gonna be great value. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of creativity to make this work. Yeah, and another thing is like, if we end up getting a PC for like, 3.30 or something like that, we pretty much have to pray that we can get working for free. Yes, um, and stuff like this. This one is local pickup only, and I don't think this is even close to our region. Where are we sending McAllister on a journey to? We'll send <laughs> Jackson, him to Jacksonville, Florida. Florida. Yeah. Hey, I just want to take out local only, like on, that should be on the side, I think. So again, we have $360. This is a Kepler Systems computer. I don't know, we'll go ahead and just like open up a couple of these and then kind of dive into them, see if any of them catch your eye. It's an FX 6300 with a 960. Yeah, no it looks hard like it just drive. has no, maybe that's the only thing wrong with it. That could be. The shipping scares me, but that is still below our budget. Yeah, so if all we needed was an SSD, we, we could do it. Okay, we'll see if there's another candidate. Then out of our budgets, we got an. Uh, what? Read description. Are these gaming PCs? What do they have in them? For $100, they can't be anything good, can they? <laughs> From President Gold. Uh, these look just like office computers without graphics cards. Sold oh, no as storage. in condition, no storage. Yeah, I don't know about that. No storage, no GPU. This one looks like potential. Custom gaming PC FX6300 with a 960. $200 isn't amazing, but the condition's not bad. He's got an OG CX650M. He has a graphics card all the way at the bottom, though. His, his G, uh, CPU fan is blowing up and out. Interesting. Uh, let's see what they said. So custom gaming PC build 2016 use primarily for gaming. No hard drives included. So I recommend buying a hard drive. You plan on using it. Ooh, look, while this PC has been listed for parts, it is still functional from the last time I booted up, which was over a year ago. Oh. Kept in storage for a while. I built another PC to replace it. So what's the total? So it would be uh, with the shipping at 113. So we'd be at 313. 313, which isn't amazing for an FX build, but. It would leave us enough for our SSD and that's. That'd be, it. that'd be it. That's all we have to do. But that, I think that we'll keep that one open. We'll look at some other options here. These other ones, not so much. 
Um, this one just says i5 with no hard drive. Post. It posts though, so potentially if this has- No graphics card. What are, they, what are these photos? Oh. Yeah, oh. it has no graphics card. Oh, yeah, the gra thing is we need at least a graphics card that works maybe, or one that's so cheap that we can buy a graphics card. That's $400, it's out of our budget. Local pickup from Peripheria. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> A retro computer from Apivia. Whoa. I think it's just gonna be old hardware. Yeah. Um, Some of these people shipping wild. The, the shipping cost is insane for gaming PCs on here. I guess unless you're like an actual PC seller, you might just think, well, that's all I can really do. 400, 300, the Archangel. Yeah. <laughs> local only. That's local only. i7, 8700, 30 gigs of RAM, four parts, so no graphics card. These are great photos, by the way. These are these photos do not help. Okay, so there's a motherboard with RAM, AIO, a power supply, but no storage. No storage or GPU, I suppose. And it's 270 plus 24. That leaves that's like sixty dollars for <laughs> a graphics, graphics card in storage. That wouldn't be good, honestly. With this, if it has a functioning graphics card, you wouldn't get much better than a 960. Yeah, a lot of no GPUs. Many people are like, I just sold my graphics card. I have a PC on get rid of. That is a nook. <laughs> Which honestly, I wouldn't even really call that parts only. No. Like if it doesn't have a graphics card, but it work, like it displays, it's, I don't know, it's not really parts Bare only. bones, <laughs> I'm assuming that has like nothing in it. 599 D-grade, what does D-grade mean? <laughs> D -grade. I've never <laughs> seen one of those Asus PCs, but that is wild. I love how they used a generic photo for a D-grade PC. Yeah, I feel like we need to see what D-grade actually is. We might be with the FX. That, that one? The uh, FX boy might be our best option. And it looks like the easiest route. This may be a, like foreshadowing to where we get it and it doesn't work at all, it's but. A, it's a fair Really like error correct build too, which is cool. I mean, 960 with 6300 has eight gigs of RAM, actually a good power supply. It's a cool looking case. So, I mean, it seems like it could use some TLC and storage. TLC and storage, and we would be under $360. So I guess we'll see go if ahead. we can uh, find an SSD on here too. Yeah, let's find an SSD. So we're at 313. Probably enough for like a 512, like two and a yeah. half inch. You buy 2.5 inch. So eBay can be hit or miss by the way for storage, but just to keep it on one platform, if we can find one cheap enough. 512. 34 bucks. It's not great, but it's not awful either. And would that would that leave us with is that nothing? <clears throat> we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what the cart total is. This is pre-tax, by the way. So 347. So Oof. we have Basically, $13. Yeah, so I mean 13 bucks. I mean thermal paste, which we may end up using. We have a lot on hand, so we'll just yep. do the math and if we end up doing yeah. it. Other than that, I mean we're pretty much uh, at the max of the budget. I know with Windows, there may be a chance we have to activate Windows, so that, that'll probably be the rest of it, actually. Yeah. $10 for a Windows key, three bucks for thermal paste. So yeah, this might be our best bet for our first shot at this series. So we're gonna order this stuff. Hopefully it shows up in one piece, and hopefully it's just a storage issue where we just have to plug everything up, install Windows, and actually get a four parts, not working PC, actually working again. All right, guys, it's been a little bit, but our four parts gaming PC <laughs> is finally here inside of a Home Depot box. And I will say, when this was brought back from PC Bros, the packaging <laughs> was, was a little suspicious. A little now, bit. if you guys remember, well, you're watching this video, you should probably remember, we don't remember. Uh, this PC should be working in its current state. Oh my, <laughs> no way. All right, wait, let me, wait, let me, wait, yeah, let, lower the- Jonah's gotta see this. <laughs> Why is it such a big box? Oh, oh. no. That is such guys, a- this is like, Oh, hold up. No, no, no. This is going to help. This is going to help, guys. Some of y'all might need to go to the training center uh, of pack <laughs> for packaging. The um, packaging training center. Because this is... Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, using a box is big. Nothing wrong with that. You know, you could add extra packing material. Fill it up, though. That's the thing. Add extra <laughs> packing. You just made it to where it's like a snowball inside of here. You think you can get it out this way or any though? I think I can get it. So, yeah, this is an FX build, which for this challenge, we, we did realize that eBay for parts PCs, unless you're really lucky with one of those like bulk sales of like a, uh, let's say like a SkyTech computer or from another Prevo company, a lot of them are from random people like this that overpriced their stuff and yes. um, it's not a great deal in the long run. Which that was really our biggest struggle was, I think we found some decent four part systems, but they were all over our budget yeah. that we gave ourselves for the video. So yeah, FX, again, it's older, it's gonna work, but ideally this ain't gonna be the best price performance. For our challenge though, the hope is this just turns on and works and yippity do, we can go grab an SSD and we're good to go. You say it's gonna work, but is it? I don't know. And if it doesn't work, we ain't got any more money to work. 
to fix this thing. We ain't got no gas. So we'll just have to take an L on the challenge and uh, try to fix it another way. So let's see what is we got this, here. Uh, is this like an older? Oh no, I see, well I saw an NZXT fan. So is it Corsair? Corsair. Dude, what is this power supply? Look at, look inside of here. It just uh, looks, uh, uh, uh. that, 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 that looks up here. What, what is that? It's a Corsair. E tier. Is, is it, it a Corsair? Really? CX650M. <laughs> Actually? Yes. Actually, how do you, how do you know that? It's right there. Oh, dude, I was like, this dude's freaking Rain Man, bro. <laughs> Jonah, Jonah said, oh, I see that. That 650. is. 650. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and open it up. So, so far, it looks like the pictures. I remember one thing we saw was this cooler with sideways, which uh, is uh, interesting for the era. Well, and, it, and it's honestly, it wouldn't be the worst thing to have it blowing out the top, mm. but they have it blowing, blowing like into the graphics. So we part. got no fans up here and we're pulling a lot of dust and air. Like look at the dust on this uh, heat sink. It's a little rough, um, but FX 6300, the 960 is in a peculiar spot. Uh, definitely could be on wow. the higher slot, but I, I could be wrong. This might actually be a 16. Yeah, that, it that's is. a pretty nice board actually. It is a 16. So the issue is with FX, a lot of FX stuff is like Gen 2. So, you know, eh. Yeah, no, this was definitely a pretty high high-end board, um, you know, for whoever built this, is this, yeah, Asus. The Asus, I'm guessing like a G, I don't even remember the naming scheme of these boards, but it's full ATX, which is pretty cool. Someone definitely paid a lot for this. The 960 is actually a, a pretty big two fan, uh, probably like an SC model. Or, yeah, it's an SSC. It's a super, super clocked. And I will <laughs> say, we paid $113 for shipping for this. This yeah. kind of packaging, I don't know, man. Even the RAM is like in the wrong slots. They have it in, um, I mean, I, I guess it works. They have it in A1 and B1, but normally you'd, normally you'd do it furthest from the CPU and skip a slot. This is atrocious too. I mean, just, oh my gosh, man. This thing, yeah, this thing did some work. So I guess we should just see, because the seller, actually... does, yeah, the seller says it turned, well, the last time they checked, it turns on. <laughs> so uh, let's see if it actually turns this, on. This was definitely the, the the great example of like when you're selling a car on Facebook. It ran in the 90s. It ran it in ran the 90s. Part. You know, it just needs a new battery. It'll be fine. Oh my gosh, yeah. If I had a nickel for every time, it okay. needed a full engine rebuild. <laughs> it needs just a battery. Just buy it. <laughs> this was a fairly nice build back in the day, especially with the Corsair power supply, which funny enough, that one's so old that might be like white or bronze rated. Yeah, that's not a, a great one. And of course, they early on had some pretty budget power supplies. They don't really do that much anymore, but. All right, power switch on. Computer on. Wait, hold up. Uh-oh. Four parts, really. Four <laughs> parts? <laughs> really? Oh, I parts. see the problem, Jonah. You wanna look at the- um, Power switch unplugged. The entire front panel is unplugged. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna try to just pop that in real quick. Oh, this is cool. I, in this era, the like single <laughs> connector, okay. It's see. like single connector, but it's not. Like you still have to plug it all in. Let's try that again. Ah. Oh. Well, what was that? Something hit a fan. Oh, this hit the fan. Oh. oh can this put that out of the way? Can okay. we get up? I, I actually already heard it ramp down. So this I think it's gonna work. It works. Oh. Okay. So we got the FX6300, which is not a real six core, by the way. Funny AMD story there. Why are we uh, a, we're getting a fan error too, which is kind of weird because this plugged into the right one. The, one on the, back? the back one's not spinning, which is, that could just be a bad fan to be honest, but we haven't opened up the back end to see what that's even plugged into. Well, I mean, we're off to a really good start. Man, they had a lot of drives in this. Do you see all the SATA cables? Yeah, that's a lot. Speaking of drives though, this is a funny transition. Uh, every time we order a cheap two and a half inch SSD, I will say, I just got the last one for another video we're working on. They always get lost. <laughs> and the back fan's spinning now, by the way. No, look, I, I, I moved this and it started spinning. I think that this Molex is, mm. yeah, this Molex is like barely in. Uh, we lost the SSD. So what we're gonna do is we have a PC business, PC bros. We have a ton of two and a half inch SSDs. <laughs> we're gonna get the equivalent in price from our shelf and just run with that. If it's cheating, yell at us in the comments. Jax is having this. a journey okay, with so this. Look. It spins like this, right? But do you, do you see the issue? It was plugged in backwards. Oh. I don't even know how it was spinning. Molex needs to be banned. I'm just saying, guys. <laughs> they plugged it in backwards. So Man, we got um, some work to do. SSD, flip that cooler. Do you want to see if the GP works up top real quick while we're thinking about it? I think, I think, I think we should try. Let's try it. Because it's definitely not optimal. <laughs> it's not optimal. It doesn't look great. No. It's like sitting on the power supply. I'm actually pretty excited to cable manage this. I think we can actually, um, it actually has a back panel, so we might better make it look pretty good. Yeah, I don't know how much, there's no like bulge or anything, but I think there is enough. A little room. bit. I think this is a Hyper 212 too, so that should be the, I honestly oh, hate working gosh. with these older. Uh, the mounting on it's horrible. What is it? The Hyper 212. Yeah, I, I hate, the, the so mounting bad. is atrocious. So we need, is, is that like an oil stain? Like what happened You want here? me to give her a little, little cleaning while you do the lanes? Yeah, let me see where this is gonna go. It's gonna go right there. 
And that card's not, honestly, it has such an oversized cooler. I'm not too worried about um, doing like repasting right now. No, I don't we'll, think so either. We'll do that when we get there if it needs it. Jonah knows too much. He must have taken it. You know what happened? The, the road just it carried it away. There. Jonah, this this thing could go for like what? $2,000 at PCBros.tech? I think so. $2,000. Uh, oh, wait, no. We got to charge for shipping now. 200 bucks. Yeah, normally we just run these through the dishwasher, but it's full right now. So it's sorry, our dishwasher's full. And then can we replace those bottom um, PCIe covers? With the ones that I took off, yes. Yeah, they're actually, this was, what case is this? Oh, it is in DXT. It is. It has the logo. I don't know what this is though. This must be really old. I mean, maybe it's one of the, like it could be an H series. I'm just unfamiliar with it. So we're going two and a half inch for this, I assume. Yes, yeah, so that's the one we bought. I don't think they had, yeah, I don't think there was. Not two. Yeah. Oh, we have mismatched RAM too, wonderful. Uh, that's wonderful, and there's a chance this is just gonna be garbage. You know what, we're gonna have to put in a DVD drive. Uh -huh. Ooh, or do I have? This guy's acting like we have extra budget to do well, stuff. Well, we, we do, film. didn't we? I thought we had a few extra bucks. Um, let's just see, see if, if this works, works and then let me, you know what, with these videos, I gotta verify how much we actually spend or how much we have left. I don't oh, don't forget to screw in the GPU. Go. That cooler is like bothering, it looks like it's gonna take off. <laughs> This is just gonna work. This was a common issue back in this era. Same thing, cable management also putting the GPU on the bottom. So this thing, this is just gonna work, yeah. Okay, you all are really close to each other. I don't know what's happening there. Um, I wanna review the tape and uh, make sure that we don't have any money. I don't think we do. McAllister's gonna joke on us with like a flashback like Jonah did. Just figure out gonna... a way to get me something. Like, yeah, I need to figure out a way. We need to pull something. some strings. Oh, Jonah, you wanna buy anything from here that's extra? Buy. We tell the seller we don't like how it was shipped, we get 20 bucks back. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Don't that do that, guys. Please that, don't do that. That's pretty bad, but. I hate when you all do we'll that. Let's figure huh? that out, then we'll go get an SSD. Okay, so um, we went back and watched the recordings. We have $360 total. <laughs> Spend, which gives us how much like twelve dollars twelve dollars forty seven cents which is definitely a dvd drive so we're gonna find a dvd drive and you all can fight with us about that we're gonna find <laughs> one back here and if we have to pay somebody twelve dollars we'll hand them twelve dollars we'll hand it to pc bros this is for the owners we're handing it to ourselves. let's go <laughs> so we need to grab an ssd too right yeah five twelve gig two and a half inch which technically we did buy we just, did, it we got just lost. didn't get it and um for the sake of getting stuff done we're going to just grab what we can a five twelve Wow, I feel like I've seen a lot of these recently. <laughs> Vulcan Z512, around the same price, it'll do the job. All right, I gotta do some thinking here on where, without having to, because I don't want to steal one from an Optiplex if we don't have to. I'm looking at this one right here that's open. But really? It's the one from that one computer you opened yesterday and you're like, what is this? Oh, but that one's so cool. I want to restore it to its former glory. Oh, I found some. Stop, oh, stop, wait. don't touch he it. He said, don't touch anything. Oh God, that's Molex and IDE, hold on. Oh God. Whip out the screwdriver. Okay, well, that was the, is that one actually SATA? That, I don't know. <laughs> I just saw it in there. Let me see. There, there has to be more over here, right, Jonah? Well, this is another cool computer that I'll probably later steal another DVD drive from something else for. It's crazy to think these used to be like 60 bucks. These are supposed to be universal. Oh, it'll, there it oh, goes. Oh, there it goes. There you go. Oh. Hmm. Okay, so um, I guess now we should just uh, put it all together, clean it up a little bit, get a little, little montage going there, and uh, this might be a might be a quick outside dusting. Yeah, let's take her outside. We're just back there, but let's go. Yeah, let's get that back panel off too. I want to really get in this thing. You ready? Ugh. That one's really bad. Pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, do the uh, the wiping phase of the clean process and new thermal paste and all that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, there's still some dust like caked in there, but yeah, you know. Yeah, definitely needs some brush. And it needs the Blowmetron 3000 over the trash can. All right. It's definitely a, one thing this PC and Jonah have in common. They're both blown out.
All right, guys, so uh, we have her all put back together. Uh, Jonah got fired again, if you guys have seen the trend in our recent videos. He's hiding in the bathroom. He's I hiding think. in the bathroom. Uh, but hey, look at this, it looks so much better. Uh, flip the power supply, they're good there. Put the cooler on the right way, and the GPU is up to the top slot, and as long as everything was working before and that SSD is installed, we should be good to go. We did a lot, we moved the RAM, DVD drive. Oh yeah, 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 here we go. Do we have something? <gasps> Do we have to get Windows to find out? You just scratched. <laughs> I scratched the hell out of it. It's, oh it's all messed up now. Memorex. Dude, there could be anything on there. It's not even Wait, labeled. is that a Blu-ray, bro? Is it? Uh, it's blue. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Blu-ray because it's blue. Um, yeah, we got to install Windows. See what that is? I'm a little concerned. You never really know. But again, let's preface. This is not the best deal in the world. This was definitely, based on the challenge we had, the best we could do. But we'll see what this thing could do. And it's kind of a little FX uh, in 2024 challenge. All right, guys, we are playing some Apex Legends on our FX computer, and we're running 1080p at a medium preset uh, with reflex on, and surprisingly playable. It's playable, yeah. Wow. Not too bad, we're not super bottlenecked by the FX CPU, we're really bottlenecked by the 960, which is only a two gig card, so kind of be expected. This would be a pairing that kind of makes sense back in the day, so. Hey, if we get 60 FPS on average, I think we'll be pretty happy with it. Yeah, it's like playable, you know, for, for 380 bucks. It's not like we were, we were, you know, going out of our way to play in like a super duper budget, like bang for buck build. We were just doing what we could. Yeah, doing what we could and uh, this is what we got and we have a functioning computer. That is the goal of this episode is to get a functioning computer and it looks like we did. Oh God. Got him. Fly away, fly away. He was trolling That's real hard. Shot, I was wondering, I'm like, what is, what is happening? Ah! Uh, ah! You know, honestly, uh. death was better than no enemies. I needed something. Oh! Uh. Oh! Uh. Oh god. Got him. <laughs> Whoa! They're hitting you. Ah! Ah! They want you. They're distracted. No! Ah. Dang, they just juked, they juked the hell out of me. Uh, Dude, what is uh, going on with me? Okay, uh, I, I deserve to die there. I really uh, did. Uh, Dude, I my, my my peacekeeper is not on point right now. Ah, uh, someone stole that from okay. you. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yay! Yes. No. Hey, let's freaking go. Ninety. Oh god. Twenty-seven. Oh god. He sees me. My aim is worse. Uh, Oh, oh, well, that's Apex. That, that That's Apex. Well, with three adaptive, I mean, it's playable for sure, but we gotta give another game a test, of course. We're gonna test McAllister. Oh god, FX, please. <laughs> FSX. <laughs> please, work better. All right, gamers, we got all the noises going on right now. Uh, we're on performance settings, 120 frame rate lock, far view distance, low textures, and um, this is probably where our poor FX6300 is gonna struggle a little bit. Um, FX, you know, it has its flaws. It's technically a three core, six threaded CPU, not really a six core. I guess, you know what? Yeah, it's a three core, six thread. So basically <laughs> the hyper threading for a three core makes it a six core uh, total thread count. But um, yeah, I don't know. FX is, uh, it's pretty dated nowadays. SATA two limitations, DR3, we got this CPU. And um, all in all, again, like Jackson was saying, we wouldn't have gone out of our way to pay this if we we're doing a deal hunting video, but for the sake of getting a PC that was broken and trying to fix it up, this was definitely our best candidate at the time. Definitely a success. I mean, yeah, we success. Did it. Much success, much wow. Mmm, the glizzy treatment. This guy has the worst recoil of all time. <laughs> He's running. He said, no. <laughs> what are you doing? This no. gun is so slow. Ah, more shockies. Stop looking at me like that. Just shotgun ammo in there? Wait, hold on, they get stuck in the... <laughs> oh my gosh. This, oh, the lag. Oh, the lag just ruined it. Oh! You done flushed him out. Ah! Oh! The, oh, the oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Not ready for competitive Fortnite <laughs> is probably the best way to say that. Um, hey, you know what? We completed the challenge. Is it worth it? I don't know. That's up to you guys to decide. Let's wrap this video up real quick. 
Well guys, 360 bucks into this PC, I would say the fact that we got it working, even though it was a parts PC, and it honestly worked when we got it, but it looked horrible. It needed some major updates, and I mean, just look at this thing now. It actually looks nice, and it performs pretty decent for the price. For our first episode of this series, I think it turned out pretty well, but I want to hear from you guys. If you like this kind of video, let me know in the comments down below. What would you like to see in an episode two? Would you like to see higher budgets? Would you like to see more restrictions on what we can buy? Let us know in the comments down below. But all in all, this was a fun video, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastypros. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye I was going to love that one. That is the sound, ladies and gentlemen, of PCBros.tech, our PC selling business. Fan blades. We're cutting prices and it's giving you all good deals. PCBros.tech. <laughs> I was trying to move with that, but you know what? PCBros.tech. See you guys later. Probably Bye. another sale by then. <laughs>